Hello and welcome back everyone to my ArcGIS Pro tutorials. In today's video, I'm going to give everyone a brief overview of how to make a simple map in ArcGIS Pro. Oh, and the video is going to consist of five simple steps to include how to add data, how to set a coordinate system, how to symbolize data, how to create a layout, and then finally how to export a map in a PDF format. If by chance you want to jump in between these steps, you only need some of them. I'll also include in the description the times that each step occur in the video. So that hopefully that will save everyone some time and, and add some convenience. So let me go ahead and jump right in and we'll get started. Tons of people out there are using ArcMap. And maybe you've been curious or interested in, in making the leap. And maybe you're hesitant because, you know, you're you're really not sure how to use this this new software practically so what what i'm hoping and the purpose of this tutorial is to point out the major things that you need to know to to basically just create a map um, i'm not going to get into too much depth or detail my only intention here is to to tell you the basic fundamental things you need to use this new software to again create a map so jumping right in I've, I've got ArcGIS Pro open and the first thing you'll notice is uh, obviously this user interface is really different in some ways and then really similar in some ways uh, you'll notice that the contents are over here which you know our ArcMap users you of course remember that and then you've got some tabs over here like catalog and geoprocessing that's all familiar but probably the biggest initial difference you're going to see is this uh, this selection up here excuse me this part of the of the window in this new software and you've got these tabs and uh, it kind of reminds me of like a Microsoft Office product um, or software excuse me um, and really once you begin to use ArcGIS Pro um, I think those of you that are trying to make that transition will find pretty quickly that it's actually a very user-friendly software there's a lot of great things about it and hopefully this tutorial kind of accelerates that process and that transition for you so jumping right in you can see I've made a new map project and let me just go ahead and add some data so if if you're starting your project with you know and you haven't added any the layers or anything like that you want to go up to the map tab and really there's multiple ways to do this you can go to add data and there's tons of options here like you can just click data and then navigate to wherever your data is or you can use catalog over here you know you can right click folders and add a folder connection and then uh, of course you've got all your data connected right there in that folder so let me just throw, let's see, throw counties, the U.S. counties in there. There we go. I'm not crazy about this uh, projection. Let me go ahead and I'm going to, I'll show you how to change your um, your coordinate system too while we're at it because that's pretty significant. So I, I'm in Texas. My, my focus on this map, let's say, is going to be Texas. So you, you'll right click map and go to properties and coordinate systems and then you know you can navigate it, it's just like an arc map just the window looks different and you know i can go to projected coordinate systems uh let's see state systems and then i can find i know texas is there's texas texas We'll just I'm I'm just gonna pick one. Doesn't matter which one. So alright, we've we've got our map coordinate system assigned. And let me go ahead and add some some more data real quick. Let's let's go with the cities. We got some major cities here. Next another thing I'll point out up here under layer is base map, and you've got a, a number of really nice convenient base maps that you can select from and you can easily toggle in between I've you know I've used ArcMap for a while and I'm sure like 
typically for me, if I needed a base map, I would go to add data, excuse me, I would go to add data and then there would be like a add data from ArcGIS online or something to that effect. And that's where I got a lot of my base layers, or excuse me, base maps. Uh, this one makes it kind of easy with these various selections here. And I, I find that the maps I'm making on this software, you know, I frequently am using their base maps that they provide. However, one thing to mention regarding that is later when you make a, a layout and you're going to say print this map, um, it will display down at the bottom. It's going to provide the source for that, that base map. And it some people, you know, they might not be interested in having this big, you know, source cited at the bottom of their map. It's kind of ugly. So there's that to consider. You know, you might look into finding or you probably already have your own base maps that maybe you use. So moving on, um, another major difference. So we, we've got data on our map. We've got things started here. We've got our coordinate system selected, uh, in this case, a projected coordinate system for Texas. Another thing that's quite a bit different is symbolization of features in ArcGIS Pro. So for example, like I double click on this, this symbol for the counties and you see this pop up over here. You know, typically I think most people are used to an arc map right clicking and going down to properties. And then, you know, there, there'll be a symbology tab, which I'm not even sure I see one here. No. Um, and, and also, okay, so that, that is different, but also there's multiple ways of going about this. You can go up to appearance, symbology, or excuse me, symbology, and you can, you can select, you know, all those methods of symbolization that you're probably familiar with from ArcMap. Um, but also you can do the same thing here. So it's kind of redundant, if you will. Uh, me personally, my experience with ArcGIS Pro so far, I like to just double click, bring up the symbology tab over here. And then I like to just select, you know, make changes to symbology that way. Um, and I don't know if there's, uh, we got area here, population. We'll, we're going to symbolize by pop, population and um, geometric in, interval. Maybe that, yep, there we go. That kind of changes things nicely. Okay, so let me, let me go back to just a single symbol and look at this in a little more depth. Um, because I do think this is relevant. Um, so initially when you, when you bring up symbology, you're going to have these gallery options that are really easy, easy to toggle through. And then, and then things will get a little more in depth. If you go over to properties, you know, like here you've got outline color and outline width, and you can select um, you know, various types of fill that you can apply. Um, and then, you know, I haven't played with this a whole lot structure, but I will, I, I just wanted to point this out because it is so different from arc map, the way you symbolize things. And I know everyone out there who's just making a basic map is messing with basic cartography is going to need to know how to symbolize their features and um, I, I won't go into too much detail I don't want to spend too much time on this but hopefully this gives everyone enough direction to kind of uh, at least get them to the right place and looking at the right things right now this map is looking truly terrible let me change this because it's very distracting Just something a little there we go here let me put some outline on there let's change that to two all right, that's a little easier on the eyes. Let's make that a little smaller. Okay, so now we've we've got a map, we've got a base map, we've added features, we've symbolized them. Um, the next thing you might want to do is you know create a layout and print the map. 
and you know in arc map we're used to down here you can toggle between layout and um, just a normal map uh, windows in ArcGIS Pro you have to go up here to insert and then you have to in, in, insert a new layer and just like in ArcMap you've got all of these options so let's go with something straightforward like you know this portrait 8.5 by 11 inch you know just a normal size sheet of paper that you print every day and as you can see it, and this is one of the big differences and I, I really want to hit this point because it's going to it was confusing for me initially when I was trying to make maps um, transitioning from from arc map it's like how do you how do you set up your layout how do you print a map well you insert a layout and you can what's kind of cool and what I realized later is that this is actually really convenient because you know maybe I also want to experiment with you know a landscape or excuse me a um, yeah landscape layout I can add this layout as well and then also in the insert tab you'll go over to map frame now that you have this layout and you can see the map I've been the map I've created is displayed there that map frame so I'll click on that and then with my cursor I'll just designate the area where that that is going to be and there it is you, know, you can see my map on my layout but you say well this doesn't look quite right and I, I need to zoom out zoom in zoom out make you know I need a different scale here well you can right click and activate the window and then you can zoom out to wherever your subject area is so let's say it's you know Harris County I can kind of focus on that and then I'll go up here to this layout tab and close activation and it's kind of starting to look like you know a map that I might print and use so let me adjust this some um, the next thing I'm gonna do is go back to insert and you can see all the things that we use on our map like a a north arrow are here now I can select a certain north arrow and put it on my map uh, same thing with scale bar legend now one thing I will say that I have not discovered yet is uh, I don't currently I'm not seeing any of those pre-formatted layouts that I think we're all familiar with um, from arc map I, I use those frequently and it made it kind of easy because you had know, this layout pop up and it had you know a um, you know, north arrow and a scale bar and all those things kind of pre-inserted but what you can do and what I'm sure a lot of people do with arc map as well is you know you you're if you're in this layout tab working on your layout and you finish it and you say this is you know kind of a nice template for a lot of my maps and I'd like to just hopefully save on or excuse me save uh, save the way I've set up this layout well you can right click layout over here and you can save as a layout file and you can find the appropriate place for that and then later you can just go to import layout file and navigate to that same file and you can just every time you're working on a project and you know you've created the map that you want you can import that layout file and then insert that map frame into your pre-formatted um, layout so hopefully that makes things a little easier I'm not going to go into the the scrutinous details of formatting you know uh, a scale bar which I think I'm sure we've all done before I can tell you that if you uh, simply double click scale bar or legend or whatever you will get all of those um, all those different changes that you can make in ArcMap 2 are going to be in a window over here but again I'm just trying to show everyone how they can make a quick map um, here on ArcGIS Pro so here's my scale bar um, I've already added a legend which looks terrible you can't even see it but 
again, I'm not going to go into too much detail trying to change that. And then, um, let's see, rectangle with a, with a text is usually how I add a title. So I'll designate an area and I'll call this, you know, my, my getting started map. And then I can double click the text, do uh, some quick formatting on text symbol appearance. Let's make it much larger, a little larger. Let's make it bold. And let's reposition it a little bit. Okay, all right, so I got a title, north arrow, scale bar, everything's symbolized. I've added data to my map, I've, I've got a layout set up. And here's the next step is also something that's very different about ArcGIS Pro. And that is, you know, typically for me, like an Arc map, I would go up here, go to File, Export, and I would export my map in a PDF format. That's almost always how how I would um, you know later print my map or use it as a you know a map in a Venza or something. Well, in ArcGIS Pro, you go up here to the Share tab and you have all these options. You can share the whole map project as a package. You can um, th there's a lot of options for for taking maps and using them on ArcGIS Online, and that in itself is a whole another avenue of conversation that I won't get into. But um, for those of you that just want to create that PDF file that you can print, you're going to go to Layout, Export, and go through all the, you know all the things that we're used to in ArcMap. Uh, you can select your resolution of course you can change the file type i'm sure most people are going to be exporting in, in a pdf format and you can name your file there export and there you go you've got uh, a map you've created in arcgis pro that you can print and use so with that said i hope i hit all the high points i hope i provided just the very basic information someone would need to, to get started with ArcGIS Pro and create a map. Uh, if anyone has questions about this video, just leave a comment below. Um, if someone has an idea for a tutorial, something they think would be helpful, then I'm certainly all ears. Um, there are some suggestions out there and I'll, I'll see what I can do. If you thought this video was helpful, uh, definitely leave a like or maybe subscribe to the channel if you want to stick around and see some more tutorials. I appreciate everyone watching and hope to see you again soon.